The first coaching point that we'll work with the players on is how they hold the ball on the shot. And Emily's doing a pretty good job right now of keeping the ball on her fingertips, yet off of the palm of her hand. A lot of youth players will let that ball roll to the front part of their hand and get up here under the palm. And then that makes a weird rotation on the shot and not a consistent rotation. So we'll always tell them just bring the ball back a little bit. Some youth players will then overcompensate and bring the ball all, all the way up to their fingertips. And that's too far. So it's between the fingertips and the palm. We want it sitting right back here so you can put a finger under the basketball between the palm. The second point we'll work with with the youth players is where their elbow is placed. You'll hear some coaches talk about the elbow needing to be directly under the ball so that it's perpendicular to the ground. Um, good goal, that's really hard to do from a practicality standpoint. And it's an unnatural feeling for a lot of kids. So if you're directly under, um, that's gonna be a hard shot for kids and it's gonna cause the ball to go left and right quite often because they're so worried about cranking their elbow under that the hand's gonna move with it. And so realistically, you'll, you'll get a slight angle away from midline. So having the elbow out a little bit is okay. You want it to be a natural, comfortable feel for the kids. What you want to avoid though, is having the elbow way out. And youth players a lot of times, because they're not strong enough to get the ball up to the basket, will try a two hand shot where the elbows are all the way out. And so it's your goal to take it from the two hand shot to a one hand shot with that elbow closer to the body a goal of trying to be perpendicular, but probably not realistic. So slightly off to the side, um, but under the ball nonetheless. And if we get good hand placement and we get the elbow where we want to see it under the ball, if Emily turns, you're going to end up with a nice reverse C. Okay, so elbows under the basketball, um, balls relaxed onto the hand, and you get the nice C motion or C shape. Our third point will be foot placement and what the shooters do with their legs. If a player is right-handed, you want their right foot forward and their left foot back. Emily's got her right foot forward and the front of her left toes are about at the midpoint of her right foot. You want the feet shoulder width apart, so it's a nice comfortable athletic position. And the shooter wants to have their legs bent. Okay, so go ahead Emily, bend a little bit more, good. That's the shooting start. When she gets done and shoots and releases her shot, her knees uh, will, will straighten as she explodes up and she'll end up on the tip of her toes to extend for the shot. And our fourth point on the shooting is putting the feet, the legs, the elbow, and the ball placement together and let's shoot. Um, Emily's gonna explode up with her knees and release the ball at the high point of her lift. And we call that a high release. Once she does that, the ball leaves her hand, her index and middle finger will be the last two fingers to touch the ball and will affect the rotation of the ball and give it the proper spin we want. Um, and then after she releases the ball, it's important to hold her follow through. So when we're talking about this fourth point on follow through, we say, make sure that there's a high release and you hold your follow through. So let's have Emily demonstrate that. So high release and then holding her follow through. Okay. Oftentimes coaches and players will ask us how long the follow through should be held. We say long enough to let the ball go through the rim. You want to convince the ball that the rotation is going to be there, that it's going to go in. And if you release and don't hold that follow through long enough, again, the spin will be off of the ball. One final point, um, coaches often ask about shoulder placement. Should their shooters be squared up to the basket where their shoulders are pointing directly at the basket? Or should they be off a bit? And what I mean by off a bit is that sometimes shooters now will open up and that their shooting shoulder, their right shoulder if they're right-handed, is going towards the basket and their left shoulder and left foot drop back a little bit. In the NBA and the WNBA, you will see players shoot both ways. So I don't know that there's a right or a wrong way. I'd say it's whatever feels more natural to your player. But I will also say that more of the players are opening up on their shot more where the foot 
and the shoulder of the non-shooting hand is back. The important thing though is that the ball, your shoulder, arm, and shooting foot are all in line to make it a straight shot. And if your players can do that better by being squared up to the basket or by being opened up more, um, as long as it's effective and as long as it works for them, encourage it.